Alrighty, uh, hopefully my microphone, <coughs> pardon me. Hey Joe, how's it going? Uh, oh, thanks for the follow, uh, Granny Goblin. Hey, a fire starter 3D. Uh, do -do. Yep, uh, that's everything running. Does my mic sound okay? Good. Hopefully you can see everything. Hey Aki, how's it going? Put that into performance mode. Hey Froy. Uh, so, yep. As I said in my... Tw yep. Tell you what, does everyone want to see my... Uh, pizza I'm going to be eating... Uh, while I'm streaming? Or uh, shall I just get straight to the game? Looking at anything else in my room. Please do not judge me for having it on my bed. Yep, that'll do. Yep, it is a good pizza. And obviously I've got the uh, PC uh, wedges. Yeah, my lips are not going to survive this stream. Just recommending a really good book series to people on Tumblr a bit ago. It's called the Half Moon Hollow series, and the first book is called Nice Girls Don't Have Fangs. Intriguing. Okay, put that back in performance mode. Yeah, I've ordered myself way too much food, but I'm basically celebrating the fact that my um, self-isolation period's nearly over, so there we go. One year on for my first stream. I think I've officially reached, um, does not care. Amanda says hi while she's, um, studying for her church course. Oh, I tell her I say hi back, and then she can hear this, in which case, hi Amanda, and I hope your uh, studying's going well. with this uh, level. Ow. Oh, hey, Granny Goblin. Uh, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the um, Aaron Eats Pizza while sometimes playing a game stream. Hey, care boss operator. Club stay at uni. Oh, yeah. Is that basically like a freshers fair or they're pitching new members or what oh 
Ah, the uh, table's on Discord. Ah, oh, yeah, fair enough, Granny Goblin. It's always weird when you think you've been following someone, but you haven't. So, the main character of the book, Fast Ass Mentioned, has the worst night you could possibly have. She has a small town librarian who gets fired from her job because the head librarian wants to give their job to the head librarian's daughter. Doesn't get her severance pay but a gift card to a bar. Gets drunk, her car breaks down so he has to walk home mistaken for a deer and then gets turned into a vampire. Wow. Okay, if that operator is correct, it does sound kind of like a World of Darkness session. Okay, I'll pay attention to the game and not the pizza. You know what, I'm just using the potato wedges on my lap so I don't have to keep looking away. So yeah, I had a choice of two sides if I went to uh, barbecue wings and potato wedges. Yep. Only way to get decent de takeaway chips really. Otherwise, they just give you American style fries. Unless, of course, you're going to an old fashioned fish and chip shop, but who does that these days? Um, I'm uh, eating pizza and streaming nice in the woods, so I guess I'm doing pretty well. Ah, help! It's literally me. The rogue that just ends up killing themselves. Hey Kara, how you doing? You're tired, but you have a uh, work in 45 minutes. That's rough. So you're just gonna have for it, or oh. Okay, I'll ignore the food for now, and I'm going to actually try this properly. evening going anyway. It's helping someone with a thing and it's probably, you probably know how to help but you're anxious. Well if you're the authority at the meeting uh, there's nothing to worry about. It's your meeting. Yep, we all believe in you, Kara. Oh no. Ninjas. Help. Help. Okay, self disposing ninjas. The best kind. Now I just have to. Maybe if I'm not too close, they'll ignore me. Whew. 
Nick's doing okay. Nick's, uh, Froy's doing okay. Nick's doing okay as well. Doing uh, the pre-gen characters for a one-shot you're taking part in and facing choice blindness. Oh yeah, do you have to choose your own uh, choice from the uh, pre-gen or... Good day, waiting for your dinner to digest. digest. Before you do anything else, good, good. The DMs made a bunch of pre made characters for Nick, and only on the mechanical side, and the fluff's up to you. Always good. Metal themed, glam metal background. Fantastic. Sorry for chewing you in the mic there. Operator, make your character believe they're an eldritch horror who ate your character's soul and memories. Ah, like um, prototype in reverse. Nick's torn between a bugbear paladin who's the literal um, embodiment of God gave you rock and roll, or sorry, uh, God gave rock and roll to you, or a Goliath bugbear on a desperate quest to find a wig because he's bold and he can't be bold in hair metal. Both excellent choices. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. Uh, Prototype is a uh, open world game that came out around the same time as Infamous and was more or less treated as a rival to it. Its main difference is um, it only has evil options. You play as a uh, guy who's been a, who's a, well, a scientist who got eaten by his own virus, or rather, in a plot twist halfway through the game, discovers that he is the virus, and just mimicking the uh, memories of the first person he ate, or they ate. Basically, it's the no John, you are the demon's twist. But it actually worked pretty well. Not really a fan of the sequel because it hadn't turned evil for no real reason. Yeah, more like the virus had more of a conscience than the guys ate. It's actually a pretty interesting um, concept for a high act. for a. Concepts AAA uh, open world game. Okay, one more try at this, and uh, we'll... I can lure them in, Troy, but they don't really move into it on their own, so it's more like I'd have to either exploit their AI or hit them into it. And judging by the name, it's meant to be blood. Blood. Ah. Oh, hello, rogues. How are you doing today? Rogues are actually quite good at luring themselves into the water, though. I mean, blood. 
Yeah, volcano blood. Okay. This isn't too bad. As long as I don't get myself overwhelmed, I'll be fine. Rogues are like fast little bugs at that are hard to kill. <clears throat> Which is of course how I usually play rogues, so I guess this is karma. Now I just have to carefully make my way to the top of the room and challenge the boss. I'm just going to run away from these guys. Oh, nope, I can't. vampire book bar starter was mentioning. The vampires get integrated into society in the most hilarious and American way possible. But you'll give people a few guesses to guess on ha what that is. Fair enough. Do they have to win an eating contest? I sit here as I'm eating an entire large pizza myself. Okay, let's give pumpkin head guy another go. Oh, uh, Nick consulted uh, Becca and is going for the Paladin. Excellent choice. Okay. I cannot do that song at all. Okay, mate. Fine. Let's go to bed then. I feel like some barbecue wings. I apologise for the way I eat barbecue wings. Right, anyway, let's find those magicians. Okay, uh, silhouettes of everyone she knows floating up in the air, of course. Giant fish, why not? Okay, and here we have the violinist. After all, ah, a tuberous. Excellent. Is that a plus sign on their uh, tuber? Take us on um, Fire Starters Challenge. Icky. Bite you off more than I can chew. Icky. Tuberish. I approve. Crocodile playing an accordion, of course.
which I think is a metaphor for me feeling like we're all, we've all been feeling the last uh, year. Give or take. Okay, just one more to go. You say a part of this for the hints is that the whole uh, series takes place in the American South. Do they integrate vampires by... You know what, I can't say the joke I'm thinking. It's not my place to make that joke. Okay, Macy is the uh, saxophonist. Okay, let's see who is in the boat. A dirty great heron. That poor fish. Here somewhere. There it is. Okay, Kara. I uh, hope the meeting goes well. Good luck. I hope you can help your um, colleague. Thanks, Kara. You've had lockpicked ASMR, TASMR, and now pizza AMSMR. Sorry, I'll try and keep you that away from the mic. Face and base. Talk. I don't think I've played that before. Okay, Froy, uh, good luck on your quest. Sorry, I wasn't expecting to have to read dialogue there. Ah yes, TikTok. That terrible chari charity ber verity song about telling time. Punched up the lyrics with a bit of a bit with Greg back in high school. Let's see if I can remember all the words. Oh yeah.
yeah, I think we need to look at others, but I'm worried about scoreless for the game, so I'm part two that when this game is finished. Well, one of the most in the game, probably. Obviously, it's a complete release for the area. Okay, that was a kind of a disaster, so uh, let's get back to the rest of the game. I literally do not know this song. It's okay, mate, it's my fault, not yours. Hey bird. Sorry I'm always rude to you. Sunshine, you feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams, weird nights. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get. You've always been a sleepy girl. Oh, my sleepy girl. <sighs> what did you do last night? Went to the library of Bay. That sounds nice. It was. Weird. Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy, you really look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Nice and sunny today. I hate rainy days. Just never want to never leave bed. I love them. Nice and grey. Sun shoots too bright sometimes. Need some cloudies. May knows where it's at. Gloomy little eel you are. Eels, mum. Eels, honey. All right, I'm out. Bye, bye, sweetie. Love the way they have that little uh, in joke between them. Now, the road works are gone. There's only two more wings, so you only have to don't have to put up with that much longer. Farming. I could farm. If I stay in town long enough. I could see getting into the farm life. The problem with farms is the amount of poop. Like, even if you don't have animals, you actually buy poop or something. And shovel it all over the place. It's madness. It's poop madness. Straight. I love every single line of dialogue in this game so much, so far. Okay, just life is strange, look around moment. Fair enough. Bridge freezes before Rose. Welcome to historic Possum Springs, original county seat of deep hollow country. You're not lost, you're here. 
After this, a few miles and you go under the highway and it's just rolling fields and farms. I miss the corn mazes this fall and the haunted barn in Briddle. Always next year for campfires and corn dogs. Weird that town ends like, bam, right here. There's a line somewhere that no one can see. You can put it on a map. Okay, you've copied the fire starters copied the answer, so you just have to copy paste it when you need to. Okay, anyone want to guess um, fire starters? The premise of the book, fire starters recommending or? Uh, use she heard at you fire starter. to uh, guess what she's a uh, grandma how vampires are treated in the book she's recommending uh, go ahead hey Selmus you were great last night oh thanks having you to bounce ideas off helped I'm good for that want to hear a new poem nah maybe another time sure this is a short one because I'm tired me too so that works out I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before too. It's crazy making. What are you doing at the library? I go to the library. No, but seriously. Old man crocodile. Alright, oh, that guy. Crying. Alright, guess that's her ex. I play a mean banjo. Oh, claw whammer. Really? I play bass. We should play together sometime. You know Long Black Veil? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? Yep, my dad likes that stuff. You know Willow Garden? Nope. Yeah. It's never enough for the gatekeepers, is it? Drink water. Thank you. Yes, Polly, you're right. The gate must be kept. And thanks for that ARP. How you doing? If the gate is not kept, how well the fandoms might be flooded with girls. Fire starter. There's some of the older stuff your dad likes. Andy Griffith. Any new messages? in a hydrate redeem in the points section. Oh. He thinks that's about it. Tunnel shark. Scary monster in the dark. Holy crap. I didn't really see it. Please don't listen. Okay. Old lady isn't here for stories about his granddad. Mysterious owl person. Whoa, hi down there. Ahoy there, mate. <laughs> Is that Mr. Salvi? What are you doing in the boat? In the tunnel? In the late afternoon? What are you doing home from school? You answer first. I guess I kind of dropped out. Oh dear, mate. Yeah, uh, sorry. Why are you apologising to me? I don't know. 
So what are you even doing down here? It's my side hustle. Salvi salvage. What's that? I'm a junk man, May. Are you not mowing lawns anymore? Oh no, I'm still doing land the landscaping. But I'm also a purveyor of fine goods for the discerning antique enthusiast. Okay, side hustle. Yeah. You want to come along? Boat ride back into the tunnel. Going to be a short trip today, but might be fun. Uh, sure. Uh, this probably isn't smart. It's pretty safe. I just need a second pair of hands. You should take one of the kits over there. Hey teens, I'm going on this boat now. Just saying, like if anyone should ask. I got on this boat with Mr. Salvi here. Okay, thanks. <laughs> what was? Okay, let's go. <laughs> I like how the uh, elderly sister doesn't even realise why she's doing that. And lots of folks from somewhere else drive past. Yep, she's uncomfortable covert operator. Luckily this is a game, so the worst that happens is I have to reload. In real life, I would keep on walking. Between Fort Lucene and Willow Grove. And they're like going to... They like going to antique shops out here. I think they think it's exclusive or something. And that's the side hustle. Wow. Do they know it's garbage? It's not garbage. Sorry. Here, we're coming up on one now. You'll see. Alright, looks like I'm uh, controlling the light. This is garbage. It's an island of garbage. Your garbage is my priceless antique. Once it's cleaned up a bit. Look around, find something. Is this thing safe to walk on? Oh yeah, years of sediments and rock, rocks and junk. <laughs> you call it junk too. Andy Griffith was a sitcom that was on during the 1960s through to ni from during 1960 to 1968. Find anything good? Nah. Okay, what we got around here then? Ha! Huh, big axe. Do I want a big garbage axe? Eh. What else is there? Oh wow, it's a thing! A sled? Really bad boat? Maybe you like sleeping in it? Tiny garbage hammock? Should I take this garbage bed? Yeah. Okay, let's take the axe. I like the axe. Do I want a big garbage axe? It's so big and axy. Should I take this garbage bed? Instead of the garbage axe? No. Jesus, mate, you need a weapon round here. Welcome back, Froy. Did you manage to get your food? I uh, hopped onto a boat with a creepy guy uh, May knew in school. Hot dogs are good. I just finished the last of my potato wedges. Get a garbage axe. Oh, nice. It looks like an old fire axe from somewhere. Axe murderer garbage axe. Yes, you could conceivably murder someone with this. Have to sharpen it first. Oh, I'll sharpen it. You've never seen this in the game, so it's new to you. Basically, I went in the um, subway and... Uh, he was just there and offering to give me a boat ride. And in spite of what I'd actually do in real life, I said yes. Planning on murdering someone? I keep my options open. Oh dear. <laughs> Turns out he was the one stuck with me. And somehow he'd run over his own foot. No. With the mower. Ah. Yeah, he's got a limp now. But he still comes to work. Jeez. Go work. Yeah. 
Okay, so remember how I said I needed a second pair of hands? Oh yeah, what's that about? So there's a little panel back where you are. I'm gonna need you to use it and move this light up here. Are we wait? Why? Yep, for a starter that's got to hurt. We got bats down here. So? I don't like bats, but bats like bugs. And bugs like light. So you're going to shine that light all around them and get them to scatter. Looking for bugs. They mostly go away for a while when they scatter. Oh, okay. Now get ready, we're coming up to a place they like to cluster together. Okay, got it. Here we go, up above me. Okay, bat hunting. Wow! Did most of them leave? I think so. Sure were a lot of them. Ugh, I hate them. But bats are cute. They are not. No, it may is right. Bats are actually cute. Creepy old man. Can I take a bat home? Ain't no bat getting on my boat. So you're gonna swim back and have a goddamn bat on my boat. Okay, okay, okay. No bats. Just act this. No bats. Alright, we're coming up on another island. Garbage ho! I think I'm gonna make Garbage Ho my wrestler name. You're gonna look around. Did I know the world's smallest man in the world is a bat? I didn't know that, but I believe the smallest bat is a pepper straw bat. And yeah, I agree, Fry. The shadows are indeed a nice effect. Okay, just one more uh, barbecue wing left. Definitely a mysterious. Pony, garbage hoe is what you call your friend who drives a garbage truck. That's fair. No, I'm gonna hang out in the boat. Of course I'm gonna look around. <laughs> You're sarcastic like your dad. Do you still talk to my dad? Oh yeah, I get my meat from him once a week. Las Paulus and some of the boys from the factory days. Went up to the st Stuter's hunt old hunting camp. You get anything? Ed Grass got a six point buck. Ah, oh, nice. Alright, let's go. We got a schedule to keep. Okay, so what are we hunting out now? Well, I've never been good. Nah. Oh my god, it's a coconut monkey, like the one Granddad brought back from Hawaii. It's the size of a fingernail, but it's called the Kitty Hog Nose Bat. The size of a fingernail? Bloody hell. It's basically an insect sized bat. I didn't even know mammals could be that small. Do I want this coconut friend? Yes, um. Nah. It's kind of sneaky and soft. Okay, what else we got on offer? Holy shit! Dracula teeth! These are so rad, I could totally be a Dracula. Of all the false teeth in the world, Dracula teeth are the best. Should I take the, these excellent Dracula teeth? Blech. Nah. Okay, chat, while I eat my last uh, chicken wing. Should I take the Dracula teeth or the coconut monkey?
And it does sound very adorable for a starter. Good question, Pony. Okay, that's one vote for the teeth. Fast starter votes Coconut Monkey for Sentimental Valley connected to the parents. Oh, thanks for the raid, Kiara. How are you doing today? I'm eating an entire large pizza in sides while I stream this. And we're just deciding if um, May is going to salvage a coconut monkey or Dracula teeth. Yeah, let's go for the Dracula teeth. Why did Dracula say blair? I'm going to put these on and f in and find out. She'd probably clean them first. Roy, you honestly don't know what's going on? I don't think anyone does. Yeah, let's go for the Dracula teeth. Find anything good? Dracula teeth. Oh, wow. I remember these. They still make them? Now there's a market that never goes away. People always want to be Draculas. I don't want to be a vampire. No choice. I'm going to put these in. Oh god, please don't. They're disgusting. Gonna bite ya. Alright, let's keep going. Blah. <laughs> and that's how I saved the longest night. <laughs> wow. Uh, longest night's a holiday in the Night in the Woods universe. Did you ever tell your kids? What? No. You'd spoil the magic. Did they ever notice your neck scar? If they did, they never said nothing. Did the cops ever catch the guy? Looked up what a coconut is, and it's kind of creepy as far as monkeys go. Is it literally just a coconut made to look like a monkey? Oh no, he's still out there. But he ain't coming back anytime soon. Wow, great story. Okay, any bats around here? Alright, we're coming up on another bat nest. Do bats have nests? Whatever, get the lights ready, shine it up there and get rid of them. I think, um, aye aye sir, I think bats have roosts, don't they? Here they come. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. I got some good. Yeah. Thanks, kid. I'm 20. <laughs> well, at my age, that's plenty kid enough. Rude. Coming up on another island. How many of these are there down here? Oh, I ain't counted. I seem to find new ones all the time. I lose old ones. Spooky. We're pretty far back now. It's always a bit spooky. But is it all together ooky? It looks like... Uh, coconut looks like... Monkey looks like it's normally carved in a sitting knees tucked in position. Wow. Whoa! Old trolley car up there! Yeah, we're getting close to where the flood probably really hit hardest. I can't imagine this place still up and running. It was quite something. Had a sense of going somewhere. Yeah. Way back when they got these new trolley cars. They were designed by some company overseas. Big and fancy, like France or something. They are pretty. Yeah, they still got their charms. You gonna look around? Sure. Okay, let's see what's around here then. Uh-huh. Wonder how old this is. It's pretty soggy. What sport even is this? It's a sports mystery. 
The worst kind of mystery. It's pretty though. Do I want this thing? It's gross and I don't care about sports anymore. Oh nice! Football! Our official religion around here. I could totally wear this. It's functional. I could totally wear this in winter in case I slip on the ice. I could wear this if I was in a fight. Could probably stop a bullet even. I don't know. Can American football helmets stop bullets? It smells inside though. Do I want this thing? Yeah? Nah. It's functional, but... Hmm. Okay, I say we. I'm going to go for the mystery sport here. Could hang it on the wall. That'd be pretty neat. And then look up what it's even for. Cool, cool, cool. Find anything good. Check this out. Oh wow, that's an old hockey pennant. How old? Like really old? Uh, 1970s, 80s. Football thing being religion never feels far from the truth. Ah, oh, that's like medium old. We had a hockey team back then? Sure did. I oh, really used to be out where the ham pamphlet is now. Jeez, so much stuff used to be here. Lots still here. But yeah, lots gone. Any more bats to get rid of? Nah, they don't come back this far to sleep. They fly around a good ba bit back here though. Okay, just deliver up myself a slice of pizza. Unless you clear them off before you get here. Where even are we? Almost to the far platform. Oh wow, is that where we're going? And it's even more of a religion if you live in Alabama. Fair enough. To be fair, football, meaning soccer, is kind of a religion in the UK. Yeah, I saw where you were going to put the space and live in. Well got rid of most of the bats back there so maybe we can make one last stop at the big one the big one uh, thank god I wasn't down here when the flood hit the river jumped right yeah flood was bad enough the river just up and moved Had something to do with the reservoir too. I forget. I guess it was gone a while ago. Where to think the rivers can move? Oh, they're always moving, kid. Twenty year olds. They're just usually moving in one direction. No one really's no one's really prepared for when it stops doing what it's always been doing. Hmm. Alright, here we are. The big one. You don't know... <coughs> Pardon me? Fry, I don't know why I picked this place being under Possum Springs. Well, it was a... It is a flooded subway, so I guess it sort of is. Wow. This looks like something I dreamed. Or something. It's familiar some ways. 
Back then, they thought the trolleys would stay on the track, come a big flood. But nah, they went right along with the water, bobbing up and down, crashing into big piles like this. Jeez. Can't fix something like this. What are you going to do? Dam up the river, dig this whole thing out? Nobody got that money. Nobody got that time. This is like visiting some place beyond the grave. Like where you go when you die. Some folks did die down here. Oh yeah? You're gonna look around. Have to say, not much back this far usually. Most stuff washes in from side channels. Gets caught back up where we came from. Yeah, I think I'll still look around. Okay, Trash Mammal, let's do this. Wonder what this used to lock up. Really old lock. Pretty neat key. Someone brought this in to keep something safe. Or secret. Do I want to take this? Yeah. Nah. It's just junk now. And I got nothing to lock up anyways. This would be a perfect time for more, um... <gasps> Is that a trombone? Wow. wonder if it still works. Should probably clean up all the mud out of it first. Do I want to take this? Yes, we want the trombone. It's really pretty. It should have someone to appreciate it. Yeah. If it wasn't for a trombone, I'd definitely get the key, but... I suppose this is really the uh, perfect point to... Do lock picking ASMR, but I think that joke's to st run its course. Found anything good? Horn. Looks like a pack horn, maybe. I'm gonna clean this out. Maybe play it, or at least make it s make some noise. Good plan. It's real pretty. Shame to leave it down here. You rescued it. I'm a hero. I'll call the papers. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I like this section, Froy. Here we are. Wow. Don't know. It's kind of, I suppose it's missable if you aren't checking the subway every day, but um, I suppose it's possible you might have missed it because they added it in a patch. So that's it. That's the other mural. It's so... Yeah. Yeah. Basically the only thing back here that's by the flood. I just think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Forgotten maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. I wonder if in like 500 years, some archaeologists will find it and wonder what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years, no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out and then fall apart. Okay, that's deep, May. That's deep. You okay, May? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just gonna look around for a minute. Take your time. I hope this isn't the end of the day automatically. Nope. June bug. With bats. Thanks for joining me. That was great. I could totally do this as a job. Oh no, a competitor. I'm gonna get me a boat and go find some trash and sell it to rich dorks. That's the spirit. Take care. You too. Good luck. Yep, that was a cool side quest. OK, 
Okay, see what else there is. See what these guys mean. I'm talking about. Hey, you never told me why you were feeling down the other day. Do I gotta tell you everything? Nah, nah, just asking is all. Well, ask someone else. Okay, wow. What happened to some else's? Drugs and malt. Okay, let's see what Greg's up to. Snacks. You wonder if in the past, also, you wonder if in the future there'll be digital historians and archaeologists trudging through the old stuff of Tumblr and the like to see what, how people lived and what society was like in 2021. I mean, there's digital to historians now, so. Uh, trying to work out how things were like back in the 80s so yeah definitely oh yeah the experience of um, looking back at an old forum thread to try and tr troubleshoot software that hasn't been a uh, any support for years. What's up, kid? How's it snacking, Falcon? Just kicking it. Drank too much chocolate milk, and I was throwing up. When the light bulb delivery came, I had to sign for it while puking. Geez, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Just flew too close to the sun. The chocolate milky sun. So what's up? Just saying hello. Yep, smashing some light bulbs. Did you want to check out the Historical Society? Smash some light bulbs, smash some light bulbs, smash some light bulbs. Yep, I see that XKCD reference and I admire it. Whoosh. Gotcha. So pure and good. Oh, we use the main voice for Greg. Ow. God damn it. Cathartic. Ow. That actually hurt. Get, to get, get it together, dude. Okay, is he going to throw something again? Attack the bold planet. That bat. Use the bat to hit it with. Oh my god, Greg, I'm going to kick your ass. Would fry. It'll be very funny. Not. So what's up? Just saying hello. Cool. Just going to check my other options before I. Ah, uh... uh, speaking of other options, I'm just going to.
Fun fact here, if someone says, if you ask if you want a brew, they always mean a cup of tea. They never mean a beer. Ah, oh, thanks, Kiara. I uh, hope you have a coral time for yourself. Do I know you? Nope. Oh. Aren't you Greg's cousin? You really look like his cousin. Not his cool cousin Jen, like the other cousin. Nope. Who are you then? Why are you here? I'm trying to find your city council. Town council? Or a town? Right. Why are you looking for them? It's supposed to be doing away with infrastructure and municipal services management program. What? Helps you manage things like snow plows and broken hydrants and stuff. Oh yeah, we have those sometimes. I just figured it'd be helpful. I don't know, lots of places are scared of new things. You just want to keep things like they are forever, falling apart. It's frustrating. You're really into this, huh? I mean, it's my job, so... I had a job. I bagged groceries. Could you program something to make that job suck not suck? Well, soon it's going to be robots anyway, so... Jeez, yeah, huh? I got it. You're Donna's cousin. Yeah. She used to babysit me. Oh, wow. Are you the kid that, that killed a bird with her mace? It was an accident and I was like nine. <laughs> I thought it was perfume or something. I thought the bird would like it. Well, you were nine. It died like instantly, just... Ah! Whoop. If anyone wants a good movie, you'd recommend The Prom on Tumblr. It's cheesy, but it made you cry in a good way. Dead. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Good luck. You mean Netflix, not Tumblr. Yeah, I was kind of confused about that for a second. Try not to kill anything. No promises. Wait, so, uh, does mace kill birds? So I thought the entire thing about spiciness was, um, birds can even sense it. Hey, Germ. Hey. Hey. What? Wanna hang out? I got plans later. Okay, well, I don't think you're gonna get kidnapped or anything. Nah. Yeah, sure. Hop on my bike. Really? Where is it? Hide it behind food junkie. I guess you could run, like, run behind. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm not sure about movie, a movie Tumblr made. You sure your bike's gonna be safe? Yeah, I don't think it... Yeah, I don't think anyone's been in that shed for years. Sorry you fell off. It's cool. I feel so alive. Scrapes are cool like that. I skinned my elbow. I hit my pre head pretty hard. Did you hurt your brain? Nah, I got a fixed skull. That's cool. So, what are we doing here? Do you trust me? Sure. Never forced about it before. Really? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Bye. Where? Oh my god, Germ! Oh jeez, dude. Hey. What the hell, man? Germ, it's fine. Oh, for real? Dude, you scared me to death. Why? You jump off big scum stuff all the time. Yeah, but like, that's in town. Nice flat ground. Oh, I can just go jumping off cliffs and whatever. 
Oh yeah, I forgot you grew up in town. So what are we doing here? <laughs> to be fair, me as a cat. So what are we doing here? I come here a lot. I wanted to show you something. You hang out at a sewer pipe? Are you showing me the sewer? I thought you'd be interested. Saw like 10 rats down here once. Okay, that's pretty cool. Covert operator, May is a ghost now. Well, maybe she is, maybe she isn't. Okay, so I started coming down here a few months ago to like, just hang. Okay, and I noticed. Oh, hey, rabies. Eh. Rabies is my sewer friend. Its name's Rabies. His name is Rabies. His name is Rabies. I found him when they pulled that body out of here. After that big flood a few moments ago. Ah, oh, neat. He was sad and wet and hungry, so I bought him chips and ice cream. Ah. He's a good possum. Sounds right. And I wanted the other possums not to pick on him. So I named him after something they were all afraid of. This is the best story ever. He's so rad. Hey, rabies. Speak. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love you, rabies. Oh my god. He's going to rule this whole ravine someday. Yeah, I think um, it's worth hanging out with Germ just because um, I think the entire, all the scenes with him uh, don't actually count towards the end of the day, so you can just do them and then uh, hang out with whoever anyway. You be nice to me, okay, rabies? I love him. Same me, same. You got any pets? I got some rats downtown. Sweet. So there's like weird stuff on the walls here. Ancient cave paintings. Not new at least. What do you think it means? If you sleep here you might drown. Rabies is trash king. It's a prophecy. Written by the by ancient hobos. There's like all kinds of secret places like this around town. Uh, yes, she does talk to the rats. She was like, hello rat babies, I'm your mummy. And then she fed them pretzels you steal in a mini game. I'm like the only person to really map that. <gasps> hey, rabies, what you got there? Oh my god! Is that a fiasco bar? You want me to unwrap that for you, guy? Holy effing crap! He is the best. my god, he's so talented! You should take him home! No way, he'd peer over everything. And dig a hole in the wall and live there. Oh yeah. Rabies is wild. Let him be wild. Ah, look, he's eating it! Okay, I'm not even having to voice act that dialogue. May's just saying what I'm thinking. See ya. I love you, rabies. Rabies is babies. The game is reading my mind for dialogue. And to be fair, it does give that impression with the air uh, delay from the capture cards. Well,
so I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? Nah. Yeah. Nah. Okay, I guess I have to decide who I'm going to hang out with first. They just leave the band stuff in there. What if someone steals it? What if the building falls down? I should start taking Greg's base stuff home. Just, you know, in case. All packed. Hey, Bay. Oh. Hey, Bay. Hey, May. I think I'm going to burn this place down. Oh, cool. But also, maybe it might have consequences. You know, like that game the French guys made. We could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're going to burn this place down for me. Oh, cool. But also, maybe I'll go to jail. No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So work's not going well? Uh. Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. May is the real MVP. Okay, fine. Do you want to go check out the graveyard? Nah, not today. Actually, yeah, let's do it. Okay, well, let me know. Okay, so we'll just uh, see if there's anything else to do around here. Then we'll go hang out with one of them. Coffee, cigarettes, coffee. Oh, they miss their friends. Alright, yeah. I could go into that one apartment building a moment ago. I'm gonna check that out. Also, sorry about how much I'm scratching my nose. Oh yeah, they said they'd, uh, who is it that said they'd fix the roof? Door? That's like a movie you watch with some guy, some rich elderly people in India. One guy got drunk and complained about his wife to the taxi driver and gave a hundred dollar tip. The taxi driver interpreted that as him taking out a hit on his wife. Wow. The moral of the story is, uh, don't give out big tips. Okay, so how do I get up there? What the hell is a mold? Don't worry, that was a joke. Everyone should always give out the biggest tips they can afford. Fast starter. You got a $200 tip once. Wow. Uh, did you do a good job or 
was the person just uh, feeling generous because that's amazing or was it both was the person feeling generous when you did a really good job those weather stations are but I'm going to activate all of them if I can. Okay, so my new hella birds. That's right, hella birds. <gasps> He's real. Holy shit, that's a lot of birds. Uh, hello. Hello. I'm May. Sadie. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Exploring. I mean, do I need a reason? No. Nope. Did you know? This is the only stage in town. Are you on stage a lot? That's not true. Do I have to activate them all on the same day? I don't think so because that one I could only just activate and the rest seems to be uh, still activated from when I did it. We don't know if the uh, lady was senile or racist because apparently another bus has spent like 30 minutes being attentive and paying extra care of the lady. She went straight to you to give you the money. Also, I d you didn't find out a bit until later, until later a while after, and by that time you'd use the money to buy your Xbox One. Oxlow wants to know, did the rich elderly people watch the movie with you, or were they in the movie? Good question. Also, hey Oxl, how you doing? You on stage a lot? Nope, not for a long time at least. Looks like no one's played here in a long time. Yeah, been a few decades. You gonna like put on something here? Oh, I don't think anyone's gonna be putting anything on here. At least not anytime soon. No electricity, probably structurally unsound. Infested with rats and pigeons. Oh, other than electricity, that's like most of the town. <laughs> That is, that it is, that it is. Whoa, pentagram. Doesn't prove anything. Weird teens. Spooky though. <laughs> Three weird teens I met. No, I don't want to quit time, so stop that. Nice evening, trombone lady. Okay, let's see what this is this way then. Blinds jump. Video outpost, fair enough. Okay.
And if anyone was wondering why they didn't go to a shared chip tip jar, is that because it's because your tips were first comes, first served. Sorry, should I swallow my mouthful there? My mum would be very disappointed in me. Created a competitive edge to the whole thing. Okay, at the risk of sounding like an angry um, anarchist uh, trans woman. That is not on. And the proletariat should not be uh, pitted against one another. Hey, you free? Maybe. Wanna go on a quick adventure? Don't you have a job? Past is gone, I'm gonna skip out. Oh yeah? Not right now. Heck yeah. Let's skip work. Only I'm skipping work, hun. Oh hush. I'm an accessory to the crime. Also not a crime, sweetie. Hey Bree, sorry you're late. You downloaded Shadow of War and got stuck dying and killing this one asshole over and over again. Ah, that's fair enough. It's not like attendance to these streams is mandatory. Or is it? I mean, I have to attend. Oh, you're all friendly towards each other, Firestarter. That's good. And what had each other's back. <laughs> Covert operator. You tried to permanent kill all the orcs that had abilities you didn't like in Shadow of War. Fair enough. I don't think I've ever been up here. We used to come here all the time. Did we? No, we as in my friends and I when we were your age. Okay. I'm not used to using any other Wii's. Believe it or not, I've had several Wii's. Huh? Oh yes, Nintendo didn't don't make hardware like he, they used to. It falls apart after a while. This is nice. Used to be a lot more trees up around here. They got cut down when they put in the towers. I don't remember that. You know, all kinds of things happened before you were born. What? Some minor parts of history took place, yes. Crazy. Things that happened while I didn't exist, too. Oh, I've only just realised that May's mum has um, blue rinse to counteract um, May's um, red hair dye. So, what's this place? Colourfroy. There's so many things in this game you don't even know about. There is a crazy amount of content, isn't there? And also, obviously, they add more with patches, so... So, what's this place? Uh, depends on the streamer. That fish place Pokemon chap probably doesn't need to be there. I suppose not, but they probably have an keep an eye on it. Jenny's Field. Ever heard of it? No, I don't think. Back in the 30s, there was this woman and her daughter walking here, and the woman's daughter is in front of her, and then she's gone, like disappears. What happened? Turns out there was a sinkhole that opened up when a pillar collapsed in the mines in the hill. Jeez. Yep, no one could see it because of the grass. Her name was Jenny. This is Jenny's Field. They never found her. Jeez. Just whoosh, gone. So wait, why are we here? What, you know, up for a little risk taking? <laughs> Child endangerment. There. Ah! What's wrong? I thought I thought it was a sinkhole thing. Mm, how about that? <laughs> Okay, what is that? For some reason, before Unifan pulled out, they brought in this old lime fur this old lime furnace up on the mountain. Why? Yeah, you're right, Froy. This game makes excellent screensavers. 
Who knows? Unified did a lot of things. It looks like it's been here forever. It's just sunk into the ground a lot. Like Jenny. But slower. We used to climb up there. Wanna try? <laughs> oh, sweetie. I had you and I also had a lot of birthdays and donuts since then. And not much climbing. Okay, guess it's going to have to fall to me then. So, uh, good thing this chimney is sealed up here. <laughs> yes, good thing. What can you see up there? It's been a while. Uh, Possum Springs and most of the valley. The highway. Oh, hey, Zanna, how you doing? What does it look like? A river, but made of concrete with cars. A snake, but like made of concrete with cars. <laughs> An eel, maybe? Oh my god, yes, a massive eel. Eels, honey. Eels, mum. What happened to the eel kid, by the way? Someone finally noticed him down there. An emergency rescue pulled him out of the well. And years later, he wrote a book about it. And got rich. Did the eels get a cut of it? I don't think so. That's a crime. Won't anyone think of the, think of the poor, poor eels? I remember I couldn't tell of being up there made everything feel bigger or smaller. Ah, that's good, Zana. I myself have been uh, streaming while eating um, an entire medium-sized pizza inside. Mm, pizza indeed. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, I know that one. Used to have a dream when I was your age, where I was in the big parking lot out by the tracks, and I'd start running, but there was always more parking lots. Hmm. What do you think it meant? I don't know. Feels weird to tell you what your dreams mean. Why? You're my mum. Firestarter, this scene reminds you of your childhood day where you climb up this small hill slash cliff and look over your street and eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah, I think um, most people had at least one spot like that where they'd just be able to survey uh, the area where they live. I guess it's one of those very human things to look for a vantage point. There. Why do we come up here today? Well, I was hoping you'd fall into a sinkhole, obviously. That didn't work out. Drat. Guess I'll just have to keep you. I couldn't see what your expression was when you said that. Icky. It is also a very cat thing. True. Probably not a bird thing, though. I mean, birds just take it for granted. Bird are snobs. Do you need to? No. Ah. Oh. Well, see you at home. Hey. Trophy earned. Jenny's field. That was cute. Mum. Eels. <laughs> you had to stop doing it because an old lady told you not to. But to be fair, you actually owned, owned that portion of the land. Ah, capitalism strikes again. Sometimes the old lady keeps your ball, and that ball is you. And your ability to go places. my lipstick. And 
is my last big slice of pizza. Oh yeah, that's a cigarette, not a knife. Getting kind of cold, huh? Yeah, nip the air, nip in the air at the night. I like fun when it gets cold. Me too. Real pretty out as well. I used to cry at fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they are so pretty. Uh-uh. Mm, I did that when my daughter was born. You have a daughter? Yeah. Where is she? Sorry. Fine. And yet, that's the end of the conversation. <laughs> hey, Jen. Hey, me, Borowski. Yeah. What are you doing back here? Oh uh, yeah, she mentioned uh, Greg had a cousin called Jen. Does Greg know you're back? Nah, just here for a day. Had to pick up some stuff from Greg's mum. Falling back to school tonight. Ah. Uh. Didn't you go to school? What are you doing here? Dropped out, kinda. Same as you, just packed for a day. Ah, oh, sorry to hear that. Eh, whatever. What are you going for? I want to do fashion design. Is that a job you can get? Theoretically. Theoretically. You still go crossbow hunting? Greg used to have a cross to bow too, I think. Yeah, still I still hunt rabbits and stuff. Nothing big. Don't get much chance at school. I was shooting at that tree over there. Then I noticed there was a dude sleeping behind it, so I stopped. Oh yeah, that's Bruce. He's nice. Well, I just didn't, I'm just i just glad I didn't accidentally put a bolt in his face. Oh yeah, that'd be bad. Well, it was nice seeing you. You still see Greg sometimes? Oh yeah, all the time. Well, I'll tell that cousin of mine he needs to come see me out in Bright Harbour. Sure thing. See ya. Take it easy. Jen. Greg's cousin, okay? Okay, the weird kid's still around here. Nope. Speaking of Shadow of Mordor, I think I actually saw a game developers conference um, presentation. I think it was specifically on how they um, has the uh, basically uh, randomly generated the uh, orcs, but made them uh, still have plenty of character. I can't remember the details, but it was super interesting to watch. Fire starter, you gave the old lady the benefit of the doubt because you were like seven or eight at the time when you started and you could have probably hurt yourself. And the people you climbed with were in their teens. Fair enough. Not gonna lie, Grisha the Maggot has lots of character and keeps coming back to regale you with it, but unfortunately it's all maggots. Oops.
Arachnophobia. Just gross. Oh, hey, Rainbow Capers. Uh, Mia's doing fine. Despite being under my control. She's uh, just been vibing with her mum. Vibing with her weird, quiet friend, Germ. Just generally vibing. Just deciding which of her friends to vibe with. But first, I'm going to check on the rat babies. Oh, and cosplay-wise, of course, um... Yep, me as an expert at vibing. She has all the greatest vibes. Especially when she's playing bass and vibrating the air. Oh yeah, speaking of which, updates on the May cosplay. The uh, wig's dried out and I'm quite happy with um, the colour, so I'm not going to try and uh, make it any darker. So just I just need to style it and make some ears. For the shirts, I've basically ordered two identical uh, cheap shirts off eBay for like a tenner. And basically um, what I'm going to do is I've ordered an orange one and a red one. So all I have to do is I just need to remove the sleeves of them both, stitch the um, red sleeves onto the orange sleeves, maybe take the sleeves back in a bit, and then it's just a matter of um, printing this null sign on and that's May sorted. Signing a whole shirt when the devs should have just made just have the money for the official merch. Is there official merch of May's shirt? Because that would actually save quite a bit of time. I mean to be fair, um it's literally a shirt May made several years ago. Um, school so it kind of makes sense I need to make it to make it myself from a cheap shirt and probably run it through the wash a few times to get that aged effect okay I think that's everything wait you know is it me or does that parking meter look kind of like Sam Saran Yep, I have been paying attention to the dialogue. Look, tell me that parking meter doesn't look like Sam Saran. Sam's adjacent could be among us, to be honest. That's also true. Although, to be fair, Among Us came out um, just last year, well, uh, in 2019, and came to prominence in 2020. So, Sam, if it's deliberate, well, I doubt it's actually deliberately designed to look Samus like, but you know. I suppose it looks kind of like a welding mask as well. Any, in any case, it's, let's hang out with May first. I mean, Bay first. Do you want to check out the graveyard? Actually, yeah, let's do it. Okay. The anti penultimate slice of pizza. Foggy. Always got that evening fog fall. Legs between the ridges. 
It's spooky. No less she has to get lunch, but you don't know what you have. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year round. Well, the choices are infinite, no less. You could just order pizza. Well, there's the statue. Ooh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but it's like, whatever. So we wait here. Yeah. And a ghost shows up. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like monumentally screwed up right now. And no one in power gives a shit. Or they're actually making it worse. Oh, that's topical. Linus and the Great Pumpkin vibes. Yeah, that's fair. Out of spite or profit. Whoa, jeez. I mean, like, this game was made in 2016, not 2020. Actually, wait, was it 2013? It's actually been out for quite a long time. I'm pretty sure there's um, people all younger than this game who can hold full conversations. A skeleton or something? Alright, oh, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Well, have a spook off. I say something and you make it spookier. Alright. How about this? A skeleton in your hallway at night. A skeleton outside your window. Yep, yeah, outside your window. A regular stranger person outside your window. Ah. He's smiling. He's frowning. And he's from the bank. <sighs> oh, come on. He's here to tell you they're going to take your house. This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. Okay, fine, that works. Bay is indeed a mood, Rainbow. Icky, free spoopy five me. Uh, does Bay know what, no less? Uh, Bay's entire backstory is that basically, um, in the time before, between uh, May heading off to college which she really wanted to do herself and coming back, dropping out and coming back uh, basically her mum died, her dad fell into a deep depression and she's basically running uh, the family store on her own while receiving none of the credit so yep, she uh, Bay does indeed know Zombie bank guy all the things you're afraid of are boring the scariest stuff is like really really boring oh my god Beatrice what were we supposed to be doing watching a statue or something I mean to be fair people find transphobia very boring but that terrifies me knowing I'm living on an island where a small but very loud minority are completely devoted to stripping me of my rights and portraying me as a monster that needs to be slain Yep, poor Bay, her fire starter. Poor Bay. Yep, oh, on with the game. This is dumb, let's go. Okay, so I'm go go gonna go visit my mum. She's right down there. Okay. Yep, as I just said, um, obviously her mum died tragically passed away from cancer. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? 
about your mum and all. It's okay, it happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna check it. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back in school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's go check out a grave or three. Okay, don't want to bother Beatrice while she's checking out her mum's grave. Check out graves. Life advice for kids. Just because it happens doesn't mean you're not allowed to feel sad about it. That's true. To be fair, I think that's how um, Be Beatrice was uh, dealing with it. Hey. Hey. Is this? Yep. Oh. Yep. <sighs> kind of like how um, NPCs just sort of briefly focus on you as you walk past, but don't sort of stare naturally. It's a nice, uh, nice little detail. In general, in fact, it doesn't matter what life throws at you, you're well within your right to feel sad. Rose, age 95 years. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. Can't really be sad about this. 95 years, wow. When she was born, the most high tech thing was horses. She had to look out the window to see a horse. And now we have like pictures of horses on the internet. Like any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. Catherine Fish. Taken by flu, 14 years old. Ah oh, dang. He lived like 14 years. That's not enough time. Poor family. Rainbow. Acknowledging emotions irrespective of the rationality of them it is normal and okay to have under as normal and okay to have as underrated. Yeah. I don't trust really trust people who say they're rational because like even if you're trying to be rational and like if you're just following a set of, straight set of rules, your brain is inherently emotional. Like sorry, why am I saying like all of a sudden? Basically, if you make the decision to get out of bed, that is emotional. No matter how you um, justify it, because that is what your emotions are. Your brain processes things emotionally. Any sorts of cogn any any sort of thoughts or cognition that is uh, that's an emotional thing. And even the decision to be uh, rational is an emotional one. Each life is entitled to its own sorrows, and all of it, irreplaceable. Montague. No, unless you think you are uh, badly paraphrased it, because you can never remember how it goes. Exactly, Rainbow Capers. People are not rational. And people who aspire to be rationalist are not very rational at all. Actually, no. Uh, covert operator. Many of these people call themselves aspiring rationalists. 
because they know that they have bias, but being aware of their bias to compensate for it is useful. That's true. You always need to be aware of your biases. You think it was inspired by a Bible verse that you paraphrased. Fair enough. That's not enough time. Probably never said anything anyone could understand. You should get off at least one good sentence in life. Good point. Hey, an old guy. Hey! Evening. Evening. What do you do, bud? Looking for a ghost while my friend visits her mum's grave. You? I am the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have you. Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot. Do you dig the graves with a shovel? Do you get spooked out here all by your lonesome? Nah, I work here. Kids to take the spook out of the place. This job pay well? You're thinking about digging the graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Ah. Uh, I'm a wedding DJ on side. Friggin' sweet. I will rock you hard. Sounds great, my man. Had a cleaner at my um, job who um, said he uh, had a part-time gig as um, a DJ. He was very annoying and very unreliable, so I don't know. So, but I hope so. I hope he DJed better. Some uh, aspiring rationalists are overconfident about their own beliefs. Yeah, that's fair, covert operator. I'm sure there are plenty of people who um, consider themselves rationalists, but don't get act a bit too. Uh... Well, I'm not, not going to be too judgy. Ah, that's right. I'm sure the Dunning Kruger effect applies. Firestarter. One thing we'll never have in life is enough time. Well, time is what you make for it. Well, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. Grave guy. Career idea. Grave digger. Brad Boyson, the ultimate um, Chad's name. Ooh, fancy. This guy's a fancy guy. All these headstones must be lying flat with all the leaves on them. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right, Nolus. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He crashed his bike. He loved his bike. He was hit by a bike. Yeah, I'm gonna go loved it. He loved it so hard, he smooched it. So right. <laughs> Jeez, babe. How long does a moment does it take? Tick tock, Beatrice. We got places to be. Holy crap, I'm a jerk. Yeah, man, you kind of are. Don't know if, um, how far it goes, but there's this uh, TV show called Hubbub. And there's a guy in it who, um, like the first episode, he wakes up in the morning, takes off his bed covers, and he's been sleeping with his bike. And it's like, okay, are you allowed to put that on a kid's show? Hey, uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that? know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town. Yes? That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mum's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna cave in? 
What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And like, voices. Huh? That's, uh, spooky. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on up there. Oh yeah, um... The elderly homeless guy mentioned that, too. So I guess, um, I don't know. Who knows, maybe the town council's doing a cult or something, I don't know. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. When the fog hits these trees just right, these hills sing. Um, I wonder if I do um, this segment in a different order. Is it me or does that statue look like the um, janitor guy who keeps showing up? You think there was a phrase someone said where I don't put off what you can do today till tomorrow? I think the phrase I've heard is... It. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. It's just okay. I'm just going to hold right and keep eating my pizza. If you leave everything to, everything to the last minute, this will get done in a minute. <laughs> oh, not wrong. Okay, that is a spooky light. Oh, it's these kids again. Stable eye. Yeah, there's a lot of heavy stuffs in this. Um, there's a lot of heavy topics in this game, Firestarter. Ho, oh, weary travellers. You seek answers among the dead. But they shall give you none. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, guys. Do you know these kids? <laughs> yeah, we've met. What are you all doing? Okay, so... We are the keepers of the gate. There's the literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass, and who shall remain. Alright, well... Answer us these questions, truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? Done it? You can just call it sex. Like, you can just call it sex. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer. No. Yes. No. Never got around to it. Same me. Same. And you. Yeah. What? When? December before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this, this happen with? <sighs> you don't know him. No less. You don't reckon you've done anything in time unless it was done at the first opportunity. Everything's either late, really late, or done now because you'll never get to it. Otherwise. 
Oh, I'll let you in on a secret. I always come this close to starting late, but as time's gone on, I've started uh, most of my streams on time. The dead usually do answer, have answers to questions. You just have to ask the right questions and look in the right places. Oh yeah, like that iRobot movie starring Will Smith. It was at Math Camp. Math Camp? What is Math Camp? You go and do like math stuff and camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex. It wasn't good. Top notch math though. This is boring. Next question. Geez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something at least spooky? Dream date. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dress cool, really smart, likes good music. And we go to the movies. Boring. You. Wrestling. Like you're going to wrestle or you're going to watch uh, wrestling. We go to see wrestling. I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. But they'd have to be like, Grr! Because I don't even want to date someone who's not. Grr! So you're going to wrestle this person? Yeah, and they'd be super tough and cool. Yeah, I remember it was an okay movie. Not a great actual adaptation of any of Asimov's work, but as a silly science fiction themed action movie, I'd take it. In college, it was pretty much only ever late, and generally, I'm gonna do it now, is when there isn't a deadline. Yeah, I mean, I dropped out of university because I just couldn't uh, get my uh, coursework done on time for various reasons. And we'd be all like tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet, I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer. One time I farted in front of the class. <laughs> that's it. What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh, oh god. One time in junior high. One time in college. One time in high school. Let's find out more about her college career. There was this cute girl I saw at the cafeteria, like a few times a week. I guess our schedules lined up or something. <laughs> well, to be fair, Nolis, if uh, May mentioned every embarrassing experience she's had in this game, it would just be a very long recap. Which is weird about college. It's like a little town. Cut to the chase. Jeez. Okay, so I got up the nerve to talk to her, and I followed her out into the hallway. And I don't know why, but I shouted, "Hey!" And she turned around, and and all I could do was wave. Ugh. This is funny. And and and. And then I turned around and tried to walk away all cool. But I ran into this door frame right behind me. And it hurt and I staggered back and and fell into the trash can outside the cafeteria. And my face went into trash spaghetti. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Continue. And I like flailed until the trash tipped over and I got up and the girl had, had she'd watched all of it and I tried to give her this smile like I'd somehow meant to do that but it turns out I'd swallowed some of the tr oh my gosh It's 
spaghetti. <laughs> and, and, and I puked all over myself. No wonder you came home. Oh, shut up. Wow, that's messed up. I'm going to throw up. Thanks for nothing. You have come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Trash on his sweater already, wrong spaghetti. I don't guess it, Icky. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let's just pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. <laughs> I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. Oh yeah, I guess you could just walk past them the entire time. Hmm. My pizza has gone ice cold. Okay, it has been two hours and twenty minutes. Okay, the real reason you shouldn't eat on stream, I just inhaled some pizza. So like, ghosts? Ghosts. Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but yeah. So you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't seem to believe it's not just dreams. Because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's your, certainly your take on it. But like, do you ever see my mum? Yes. No. <coughs> I mean, I can't really tell. And I don't think the ghosts were like people. Like they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like echoes. Echoes of shit that happened to people that were here. Oh. Trust me, none of the places looks like super much fun. Your mum was rad as hell. Too rad to hang out there. <laughs> That's like... I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. Alright, anyway. So the bad news is that we're locked out. By that big-ass gate. <sighs> Why make a giant grave in a graveyard? I mean, a giant gate in a graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out and stop what you're probably going to do. Uh, yeah, we'll never know for sure. Alright, well I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and that shit. Jeez, I gotta do everything around here. Yes, you're a ghost. I'm just the driver. Fine, hang out. I'll be back. Not gonna lie, May and Bay are basically like um you split Chloe Price into two characters. Fire starter. You totally believe in ghosts. You actually had an encounter once. And then in your room, you saw a bright light in the sky, too bright to be human, made an overwhelming sense, sense of fear, saying it doesn't get up, saying don't get up and don't check it out. Now you could chalk it up to perceive paralysis, but your mum saw it. Yep, no, this is right. If it hasn't got spikes, just clamber up it. Okay. <coughs> 
let's see what's down here then. There's no way I'm going to leave Bay behind. Ugh, Beatrice, just learn to jump. Not with those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? How do I break this gate open? not been able to move in bed like that. Fair enough. Okay, is there something I can do to this tree? like in the opening. Okay, I sure hope no one saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here, and it's getting late. Mm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see, I told you you were good at this. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna find little Joe's grave, and if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. <coughs> Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. The ground here is all swampy. Yeah, gross. So, what do we do here? Um, I guess we're just going to look around. Ghosts? Eh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing. It's cool. May, I'm here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Any ghosts over there? No, Bay. You'd know. I'd say. <laughs> okay. found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves. Wow. This grave is for a horse, I think. I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Imagine another big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. Hmm. Yeah, apparently they said uh, said those lines while sounding like they had a mouthful of pizza. This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. It didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is is that what you're expecting to happen? Uh, in Bay's mouth. It's a cigarette, but it's also established it's a dummy cigarette most of the time because she's trying to quit. This is stupid. I'm gonna smash his shit up. Whoa, dude. Hold up, no. Wakey, wakey, little Joe. 
Oh me, you are an absolute disaster, bisexual. Okay, that didn't sound right. Whoa! Bloody hell. Holy shit. Holy shit! What did you do? You were right! About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that... Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh, crap. So, we're going to open it right? No, we're not going to open a coffin. With a rotting corpse in it. Bay, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. We've got more uh, Mr. Miranda situation going on here. Jeez, God, we're not doing this. We're leaving. Aren't you kind of curious, at least? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Okay, babe. Okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One. Two. Three. That generally made me jump a bit. Ah. So what? Foul play? Who knows? We're detectives! We're not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're lost things right now. Shh. What? So there's someone back there watching us. Oh god. I don't know where they went. Just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know, but we need to leave. Now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone. Nah. Okay, fine. Jeez. Eef. <laughs> That was 100% what I was expecting, and also somehow scared me. Oh, looks like this stream's cost me a follower somehow. I think. Actually, I'm not sure. I've either gone from 207 with um, Granny Goblin following, or dropped down from 208. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. Never mind. I was wrong. I had 206 people and it went up to 207 with Granny Goblin. For some reason I always get the year numbers 6 and 8 confused. Don't judge me. Please. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird. That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine, but he was there. May it was the groundskeeper or something. Investigating who was running his graveyard. I think it's more like the numbers themselves combine in my head. It's hard to explain. How do you know the groundskeeper's a dude? Oh, shut up. Rah, I saw the effing ghost. We saw someone. There are other people in the graveyard, you know. Yeah, <sighs> whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Skull hole. Little Joe's dang skull. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must he be avenged? Saw him. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. 
Yeah. Jeez, I'm sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. Your job don't require much of that. Yeah. Heard you and your mum went on an adventure today. <laughs> yeah. She talked about it all through dinner. You should, you know, be home for dinner sometime. Yeah. 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 Okay, now go to bed, you. Will do. Ah, oh, no invitation to watch TV. Yeah. Oh, thanks for coming by, Froy. I hope you have a good night. Not gonna lie, this game actually makes me want to take up parkour. I mean, um, I'd probably um, destroy my shin bones first time I tried anything, but I don't know, maybe there's somewhere I can learn where to do it. I suppose if nothing else, I should try and do some jogging. <gasps> the vampire teeth, she has them. Blow the laptop. Vampire teeth. She has the vampire teeth. And oh, and the axe and the horn. Amazing. Okay, let's see what everyone's saying. Scientists. Rising sea levels will increase shark attack frequency for obvious reasons. Hey bae, you're awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Hey, sorry, I kind of wrecked the cemetery. Fire starter, you're kind of scared to jog or run right now. Yeah, that's fair. I've, be I've uh, been doing laps around my garden, but it's kind of a small garden, so I've had to do quite a lot of laps. Maybe I should start doing sit-ups and stuff as well. I know that's... Not something you'd normally want to do. It's okay. I know you didn't mean to. I mean, what's a grave department or two? How about that ghost, though? May seriously, it was the groundskeeper. Exclamation marks. Exclamation mark, question mark. Exclamation mark, question mark. Exclamation mark, question mark. I thought you believed in ghosts. I do, kinda, I think. Why couldn't that have been a ghost? I just don't assume every person is a ghost. Everyone could be a ghost. I am I a ghost, May? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Just haunting me forever? I'd make you learn how to drive at the very least. But anyway, how could you even make him out anyway? It was so foggy. I could tell, okay? I could feel it. Honestly, we're lucky it was so foggy. Or he'd been, he'd been able to identify us to the police. Ugh. Fine, whatever. I'm sorry I made you mad. It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for going with me. I drove. You came with me. Okay, thanks for going. You're welcome. Get some sleep, you need it. I so do. Night, dude. Good night. Hey, hey, hey! Yo, yo, yo. Dudes. Hey, hey, hey. How's your spooky night? Dude, we went to the cemetery. And we accidentally, like, opened a coffin. It was, like, totally like the corpse of the ghost. Or you know what I mean. Whoa. And it was, like, effing nuts, man. Did you see your ghost? I totally did. Must be on the right track. Dude's probably pissed that you messed with his grave. Ah, you're right. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good job on, like, all of that. You know it, dude. Good night as hell, brah. Good night as F. And the customary sharky. Sharkle. Fire starter, not because of anyone outside, or that you're just scared you'll hurt yourself with your chest again. 
Oh yeah, obviously you just started HRT, didn't you? No less. I just sort of start, sort of exercise sometimes at night when you're bored enough. Speaking of which, you took this one fitness class in college, and apparently everyone does crunches slash sit-ups wrong. Yeah, to be fair, I don't know how to do them properly, so if that makes sense. Well, in any case, uh, two hours forty minutes, so I think that's uh, one uh, successful stream, one pizza and salad successfully ingested. Uh, let's raid someone. Oh yeah, three to four months can change a lot. Okay, switch to a larger webcam view. There we go. Save and quit to title. And put my PS4 into rest mode. Okay, let's see who's raidable. Apparently you're supposed to just like flex your abs so your head barely rises off the floor. If your back is getting involved, you're just going to fuck up your back. Ah. Oh, the answer to your, um... Oh, yep. Yeah. Ridley's streaming, is he? I'll have to haunt him then. And get those sweet, sweet points so I can hit him with other end mode when he least expects it. No problem, Mickey. Thanks for coming. Now I'll just recline and eat pizza while the page loads. Because that's how you end a stream, you know? Okay, so... The answer to Fast Starter's question about how uh, vampires are dealt with in modern day America. A guy who was a vampire wanted to change his hours so he could still work, but work wouldn't let him. So he sued his work, claiming he had a skin condition and he was allergic to the sun. Technically true because of the whole vampire going outside and bursting into flames thing. When that didn't work, he said he was a vampire, so they hauled him off to an asylum, and when they were doing the physical check, health checks, that they found out he didn't have a pulse, and that's how vampires were introduced in that setting. Fair enough. And yet, three to four months can change a lot. Uh, back a couple of months ago, I weighed 93 kilograms, and this was uh, about when I started cosplaying Samus for streams. Obviously that made me a bit self-conscious. Oh hey Amanda, I'm afraid you're just in time for the uh, stream to finish. Alright, you've been uh, watching while you study, haven't you? And yet, you're right Nolis, there is actually a skin condition that causes you to become severely burnt in the sun. Okay, fire starter. Have a good shower. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Just read it. Big goggles. Yeah, when I uh, started streaming, Sam, so I weighed ninety-three kilos, and I was feeling a bit insecure about that, so I went on a diet, and now I weigh about seventy-nine, eighty kilos. Which I think is about 175 pounds. And yet, the NHS says I'm uh, overweight. Yeah, wow. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I'm quite proud of that title. I knew I'd be doing some sort of ghost stuff with um one of the uh, other characters, so. Oh, anyway, uh, we're raiding 8-bit goggles, so I'll uh, be back on Friday. Obviously, there's a poll on my um, Twitter on whether I'm streaming more Phoenix Rise for a, a particular indie game. It's looking like the indie game's going to win the poll, so there'll be more details about that tomorrow. Uh, we're raiding 8-bit goggles shortly, so uh, yep. Uh, hope to see you then. Everyone have a lovely evening. Uh, keep an eye on my uh, twi the Twitter for more news about the cosplay and have a good night. Raiding in 3, 2, 1... With a party of nine. Hello. Hey, how's that going? And I went the wrong way. I didn't even go across the across the.